It's How to Cake It Tuesday, and this week, I feel like gardening. Mother's Day is around the corner. You could just get your mother a potted plant, but you could also make her a flower pot cake. I'm gonna start off with moist chocolate cake. I'm gonna layer one cake with coffee buttercream, my personal favorite, and the other two with rich chocolate ganache. And then I'm gonna cover my cakes with beautifully colored fondant that will look so stunning once we add our flowers. It's time to get gardening. <laughs> I need more practice gardening. Let's go. I'm going to walk you through how I made the biggest flower pot. I started off with three six inch moist chocolate cakes, level them and cut them in half. Then I flavor some vanilla buttercream with coffee. This is really easy to do and really tasty and effective. I like to just use a really good quality instant coffee, pour in a little bit of hot water, keep it in a jar, shake it up, dissolve it, and then let it completely cool. And then you have sort of like a thick, concentrated coffee to add to your buttercream and just keep tasting it until you like it. I'm gonna use my delicious coffee buttercream to layer my chocolate cakes. Time to shape this cake to look like a flower pot. Since my cakes are six inches in diameter, I'm going to place a five inch cookie cutter on the top just to help me shape and taper these cakes into a flower pot. I cut my cakes from the top down, working around and around, tapering the shape of the round cake and just do it slowly but surely. Take your time and the good news is you get to eat all of that chocolate cake and coffee buttercream that you're shaving away. Once my cake is shaped, I'm gonna give it a crumb coat, place it in the fridge to chill it, and when that buttercream is nice and set, I'm gonna ice it once more to get it ready for fondant. Time to get dirty. We're gonna make some edible dirt for the top of our flower pots. I'm gonna crush some Oreo cookies in a food processor. I know you can buy Oreo cookie crumbs, but I've chosen to use the full cookie so that we can get the white bits, just the way that potting soil looks. And I'm also gonna take some of that cake that we leveled off the top and crush that in a food processor too, because when I mix that together, it'll give the effect of a luscious, rich soil. I've pre-made two other flower pots. I'm gonna start by covering my first one, the wee little flower pot. First I roll out a small piece of fondant and cut a circle that is the same diameter as the top of our cake. Then I place that circle on top and smooth it out. Then I measure, then I measure the circle. <laughs> okay, do, you... do I look tired? No, circumference. Then I measure the circumference of the cake and roll out a strip of fondant that's long enough and tall enough to go all the way around the pot. Now I smooth my fondant, cut the seam, bring it together, cut off any excess fondant at the bottom of the cake and any excess fondant at the top of the cake. Every flower pot has that little lip at the top to hold in the dirt. That's an important detail in this cake, so we've got to do that. Use a ruler, cut yourself a nice strip. And here's a little tip. Pick your cake up and place it on the same size cake pan that it was baked in. This way, when we apply our strip, we can have a little bit of a lip and when we flip our pot over, it will hold our dirt.
I'm gonna take the dirt mixture that I previously made and I'm gonna to top each one of my flower pot cakes with this gorgeous potting soil. Time to do a little flower arranging. I've chosen flowers in my mother's favorite colors. I have gorgeous purple flowers, yellow flowers, green flowers. All you need to do is insert some drinking straws into your cake so that your flower doesn't touch your cake. See? I like to place one straw in the middle and then a few around and just cut a few blooms, have fun with it. Rearrange them, place them in so the flower pot looks real and lush and beautiful and bright. But we need to water these babies. We need to keep this plant fresh for Mother's Day. You can't just water these plants with ordinary water. You need to water them with some beautiful sugar water or simple syrup. Just boil one portion water, one portion sugar, let it completely cool, put it in a watering can, and water your babies. I'm a cake mama. I am actually a mother to cakes. They're like my babies. Those are my second children. After all these years, the woman who gave birth to me and has seen me make thousands of cakes is gonna walk into my kitchen and not believe that this is cake. What do you think, Mom? Beautiful. Don't look at the camera. Only look at this. Oh, I can love that. It's cakes. Gosh. Really? <laughs> See, she literally jostled. I said this cake, she went, <laughs> did you get that? <laughs> Amazing. My mom is cute and sweet. I take after her. Happy Mother's Day, Mommy. Here's a little secret. If you don't have time to make your flower pot fully out of cake, you can bake cake in an actual flower pot. Just make sure that it's terracotta. You want to grease the inside and fully line it with parchment paper, especially the hole at the bottom. Very important tip. Happy Mother's I'm like, happy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to use but <laughs> coffee. I'm not tired. I didn't go to bed at 2 o'clock and my baby didn't wake up twice. I am not tired. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel.